Uh, welcome to a new video where I want to talk about the new Paddle Maps update that has been released, which offers quite some new features. So let's get started. So here we have a new version of Paddle Maps and as you can see here, basically the same that we had before. We have the possibility still to search for hotels, restaurants and so on. Uh, let me go to my Me tab and then I go to Settings and here I can go to About and I can take a look at what's new. And here you can see the new features of this version. Fire layer first of all, which gives you an overview of reported wildfires and uh, loads of history data, which allows you to yeah, see if something is on fire which is also pretty interesting. And you can go back into history to take a look at that. What is more useful are the virtual navigation options. So if you want to train yourself or want to see which way you are going, you have the possibility to start a virtual navigation of this track, which is sometimes pretty handy, definitely. And then you can import data, which is pretty interesting. Uh, by just going to me my favorites and then touch import places and then you can import places saved from your google maps for example which is also pretty interesting and we have uh, the lane guidance which gives you more yeah graphically shown more details on when to switch lanes and which lane to take when you have to go left or right pretty interesting as well so let's go and uh, check uh, out the google maps thing so we can go into our settings uh, we can uh, go out of here we can go to um, my favorites here and I can option have the option here now here on the bottom import places where I have the possibility to import a place I can select a file and I can also take a look at the guide and you can see here the guide gives you uh, options to import data from Google Maps. So if you have your Google Maps because you used a Huawei account with a Huawei phone with Google uh, or another phone where you have all your Google places saved, you have the possibility to go to your Google account and you can go into Google Maps and click on your data in Maps and you have the option then to export this data. You can export the location history but more importantly your places here and uh, this allows you to download the data and you can then go to my favorites import places and use this JSON file that it yeah, exported, navigate to it and import it from there and you have it now saved under your saved places which is pretty cool indeed so if you want to import places that you formerly did a raid already or where you have yeah, your favorite places already this is possible now which is pretty cool and you have also saved routes here if you want to yeah, save a route for example which is I think I never saw that before uh, allows you to save a route and you can just simply um, yeah, click on this to, to, to get a new overall option to this route if you want to. So this is one possibility that you can see here. The rest of the app has been updated as well a little bit in fluidity and you get more and more ratings here just like for example the steakhouse looks interesting and you can see I have more and more feedback here more and more ratings here which is pretty cool it gives me also the opening and closing times which is also pretty cool so this can be really used more and more as a replacement for google maps it's not 100 percent there yet because yeah the data is still a little bit lacking here and there especially for pedestrian uh, navigation there's still some things missing but for navigating around with your car this is really really good and works fine and if you are going somewhere and uh, just like for example this uh, butter market um, you can also give it a rating and review if you want to so that helps of course uh, here we have some buildings as well like this one here which gives you more information and pictures about this building as well which is pretty cool and yeah so this is really working this is the petal maps update here uh, the newest version that i'm that i have here right now you can go to help you can go to settings this is the version 220303 and probably there will be coming newer versions as well with some new features uh, privacy features for example is 
a new uh, which allows you to see what will happen with your data, secure transitions and uh, secure synchronization of your private data and uh, yeah everything else here in cognito mode is also possible if you want to everything in this brand new version of petal maps 220303 hope you enjoyed this little video and until the next time bye